game changer. <laughs> yeah, the Optimus Games this year can project an image up to 300 inches diagonally, but you're gonna start losing brightness and contrast pretty hardcore. Not to mention that you would need an absolutely massive room for that to make any sense whatsoever. I mean, the image alone would be over 12 feet tall and 22 feet wide. Also, this is not a short throw projector, so we settled on a 100 inch image, which already requires at least a thousand feet between the projector lens and the surface of our screen. If you wanted to go 300 inches, you need to back it right up. Oh, yeah. Now it's time for some gaming. And before you say it, yes, we know a 12 foot roll of seamless white paper isn't gonna give us the best performance, but it'll be better than the painted walls that we have here. So for a real setup, you should always leave room in your budget for a proper screen. Hey, wait a minute, what is this? Nicholas, you couldn't be arsed to fix the trapezoid shape of the image? The problem is, Nicholas did notice the problem and did try to fix it. It's Optima who didn't feel that it was worth mentioning on the product. Let's play around with the settings a bit, shall we? Oh, enhanced gaming. Well, we definitely want enhanced gaming, don't we? The enhanced gaming mode dramatically lowers the input lag, but it does come at a cost. Once you've enabled it, you can see here that our image is in fact square now, but that's only because our projector happens to be sitting in exactly the right position. When you turn on enhanced gaming, which you need for that low input lag, keystone adjustments cannot be made. So if we want to mount our projector up by the ceiling and have our screen down closer to our couch level, we would simply not be able to do that without experiencing some kind of distortion of the image. It's probably worth mentioning that if you don't care about input lag, it does have 40 degrees of keystone correction, but it's vertical first, not horizontal. So then, I'm gonna grab this LTTstore.com CPU pillow. Oh yeah. Get comfortable and assume that I am some kind of ingenious these kid projector mounting master and that we can get it configured right without the last keystone. I thought maybe we were plugged into the HDMI 1.4 port, so only one of them is HDMI 2.0, which you'll need.